Buford Highway is the culture. Buford Highway is very active. Yes. Buford Highway is my home. Most, most wonderful place to live. I think a family is just starting out and their hopes and their dreams for what the future could be. Buford Highway is community. It's a place where people can come together and feel like they have a place to belong. Buford Highway is the beginning of the American dream. Buford Highway is the best. Buford Highway is a long road. It crosses through cities, through counties. Uh, but it still maintains its flavor. People who live along Beaufort Highway and the area surrounding Beaufort Highway, they come from all over the world. What makes Beaufort Highway really great is how diverse it is. You can go from one store to another, one restaurant to another, and you can find Asian-owned businesses, Latino-owned businesses. That community presented a model for the rest of the country, I think, and there was something theatrical about um, all of these people living together in this place and that became something that we wanted to explore further as we were creating this project. The Buford Highway Project is a community-based theater project. It's a collaboration between the Alliance Theater and members of the Buford Highway community. Not a lot of mainstream uh, organizations want to tell the stories of Buford Highway so I'm just very impressed that the Alliance Theater has uh, devoted all these efforts to you know, getting to know the community and telling uh, the story of, of, of Beaufort Highway. It follows the story of mostly two families, a Vietnamese family that owns a restaurant called Familia, which is um, a fusion restaurant of Vietnamese and Latino food. And the other family is the family of one of the workers there, the Mortero family and they are Honduran immigrants who are living here in the United States. And they're uh, a mixed documented family. He walked up to the waitress and he says, right there in front of everyone, I need to see your documentation. And she didn't say anything. And she just stood there in shock, I guess, and they just handcuffed this her. This waitress, she was just standing there. I think she said something in Spanish. She said something. I don't know what it was, but they handcuffed her, took her away. I feel so bad. I think really expresses the realities, the day-to-day the -day realities of so many people on Beaufort Highway who are facing deportations. Ice raids around the Beaufort Highway are, are often, and there, there's a lot of them. And, uh, and so we get to see what that does to a family when you have to live in this kind of fear with this kind of pressure of having your family torn apart and, and basically how a family crumbles because of that pressure. DACA is an acronym that stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. It was an executive action that was implemented by President Obama in 2012 to protect certain young immigrants who moved here to the United States when they were very young. For me, I became undocumented at the age of 10. Uh, and growing up, it was single-handedly the biggest obstacle I ever had to face because I couldn't get a driver's license, I couldn't work legally, and I, I didn't think I was going to be able to go to college. Uh, my junior year of high school, I tried to take my own life because I thought that that was the only way that I could escape the, the suffering that I felt as an undocumented person living in this country. Someone who, uh, who was told by his parents at a very young age never to tell anyone about his immigration status. And that juxtaposition of roads and dreams, something that is concrete and solid with something that is poetic and, and ephemeral. So Buford Highway is like, you know, the stepping stone to a better life in America. Buford Highway is just emblematic of uh, the American dream and what it takes to fulfill the American dream. It's the dream of happiness, it's the dream of safety, it's the dream of family. Buford Highway is the international heart of Atlanta. Buford Highway is America.